welcome to Get Planting and today I'm going to show you how to pot up an amaryllis bulb. So for this Christmas I was given this lovely white and pink amaryllis bulb and I'm going to show you how I put it in a pot and then the aftercare for this plant. It's a lovely flowering plant to have in your home between Christmas and spring. It typically takes like a number of weeks from potting for it to then flower but it has the most showy and vibrant flowers and this variety is called Gervais so I'm really excited to plant it today. So what you'll need to do is take the bulb out and make sure it's nice and firm and you can start to see the roots there. This is where the growing point will come out of at the top. So we've got some peat free compost which is free draining here that we're going to put into the bottom of the pot. Now remember that bulbs don't like to sit in wet, otherwise they'll rot. So what I'm going to do is just gradually fill up this inner inserted pot with the compost. And looking at the bulb, I'm just gonna start placing it in the middle of the pot and just adding the compost round as I go and just gently firming it in with my fingers. Now these bulbs like to be about 20, degree, 20 degrees in our own home and within a number of weeks they'll start shooting. So this compost is already quite moist so you won't need to add too much to them. So you want a bit of this chunky bulb to be showing out at the top and that is so that it sits a wee bit above the compost and doesn't rot and things. So just firming it round, add some more. And then once it's finished and ready to go in a decorative pot, then you can place it in your home. So there it'll sit until it starts to shoot. And this is a lovely decorative pot, kind of in a honey bee comb style. And the amaryllis bulb, when it finishes flowering, you can cut off the flower stalk, let the leaves grow, and that produces all the goodness into the bulb. And then let it sort of grow on and keep feeding it with some liquid fertilizer up until about July and then leave it dormant and don't give it much water at all. And that is its dormant phase. And then in September, gradually start adding a bit more water and then it will flower in time for Christmas next year. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this garden content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.